Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. In this short video, I'm going to explain metabolism, which is the sum of all chemical reactions. We are either breaking down or building up, and in this video in particular, I want to focus on cellular respiration, glucose to glycogen, and then glycogen back to glucose for energy. Okay? So, I like to break it down. There's two, there's, again, we either have catabolism, which is the breaking down. So, that means that you have a row of grapes, and you want to split those grapes up. Okay, you want to cut them up. Catabolism. Or you want to build them. You want to build them up. Anabolism. So you're taking a bunch of little tiny grapes and then you're going to collectively build them up. Okay, put them in a nice linear fashion. And our body is constantly breaking down and building up. It goes in a very cyclic pattern. Okay. So remember, so catabolism is breaking down to cut. Anabolism is to build up. Now, when we have in cellular respiration, you're breaking down glucose to glycogen. Now, what's the difference? I always explain it this way. So we have the grapes. The individual grape, that is glucose. When we store the grapes, when we store them, that we stored it in, for, in the form of glycogen. Glycogen essentially is stored energy. Where is it stored once it's broken down? Well, 75% of it's stored in the muscle and 25% it's stored in the liver. For when? For later on. When do we need it? For later on. All right, so in this nice little chart, I like to just break it up because glucose and glycogen, remember glucose is a single form and glycogen is stored. So we have catabolism, which is the breaking down. We have anabolism, which is the building up. And look at the suffixes, okay? So lysis, when you see lysis, it always means the splitting. Glycolysis, the splitting. Gly glycogenolysis, the splitting. Genesis is the formation. So gluconeogenesis is the making of new sugar, the forming of new sugar. And glycogenesis, again, is the formation of glycogen. So remember what the look at the suffixes. So glyc uh, again, lysis is the splitting. That means it's a again, it's catabolizing. Genesis is anabolizing. Okay. So when you get these terms, because these terms are very confusing. So when let's go here. So when we have glucose, catabolism, the breakdown. So glycolysis is you're taking a glucose molecule, remember, and you're splitting it, the splitting of sugars. So you're turning glucose into ATP. You're breaking it down to form ATP. Okay, so then let's build it back up again. This is in between meals, in between meals. Anabolism, you're building up in a, in a process called gluconeogenesis, the formation of new sugars. You're building it up. So you're taking it really from a fat and a protein source to turn into glucose, to turn into energy. So remember, so gluconeogenesis is from a non-carbohydrate source, a fat and a protein source, to the formation of energy. Gluconeogenesis, the making of new sugar. So then now let's talk about the stored form. So you broke so again, glucose to glycogen. Glycogen is what? The stored grapes. For what? For energy later. Now we need it. Now we need the energy. So catabolism break down in a process called glycogenolysis, the splitting, the breaking down of stored glycogen to glucose. It's catabolizing. Glycogenolysis, the breaking down of stored glycogen to glucose. So these are definition terms. And then we have glycogenesis. Now glycogenesis, what does that mean? Remember, genesis is building up. It's the formation of glycogen. When does this occur? Well, this occurs when we're doing the access, when we're taking in too much food. When we're taking in too much carbohydrates, we have to store it. We store, we store it in a process called glycogenesis. But this is due to excessive, excessive amounts of glucose. Okay, this is when we're eating just too much. So remember that you have, again, different, different terminology. Remember, just to review, when you have lysis, a lysis is a breaking down, it's a splitting, it's catabolizing. Genesis, it's the building up. 
It's animalism to build up. Okay, so I hope this helps drawing this graph here because when you're going through this terms, the terminology is very important to understand. I like this little graph here because it basically puts in simplistic terms. I hope this helped. Thanks for watching.